Hello, my name is Chris Love of the Information Lab and I'm going to talk you through uh, the second instalment of our Show Me How series which is talking about heat maps in Tableau. Heat maps are the second item on the, on the Show Me pane. They allow you to bring data in and do a very quick summary using squares to show the size and intensity of measures within the dashboard across a few dimensions. So let's show you how that works. I'm going to bring in the customer segment into my visualization and I'm also going to bring in the product category. I'm then going to double click on the sales measure to bring that into the view. And now I'm going to use the show me heat maps just to see what that what Tableau interprets um, as a heat map here. As you can see what Tableau's done, if I just change this to um, fit width and just increase the size of the columns a little bit, then as you can see what Tableau has done is change those initial text marks into squares with the size of the squares related to the size of the sales, which is our measure in this case. <clears throat> if I just head back and add another measure to our visualization, so here I've got the, the sum of sales. If I add my profit to my view, perhaps as a, as a bar, with the label on the sales, then come back to my heat map. Then you can see that Tableau, I just change back to fit width and increase the size again. You can see Tableau has chosen to represent this time the profit as the size and the sales as the intensity of the colour. In this case, it's the Tableau automatic green. So we're getting two codings of the information. The sales is giving us, um, through the colour, we can very quickly see that the darker areas are, are the high intensity sales, the bigger sales. The profit we can also quickly see based on the size of these squares. So a very quick way of being able to in just at a glance see what's going on with our data. If we need to create this ourselves, then I can show you how to do that. I'm going to just clear the view here using the clear sheet and go back to that same view. So customer segment on rows and the product category across the columns. I'm going to initially create the first one using sales. And to do that, I'm going to change my mark type to square. As, as you can see, that adds the squares in here, but there's nothing to tell them how big they should be. So I'm going to drag the sales onto the size mark, and then just increase the size of this row. And you can see we're back at that view we had initially with a single measure showing how the sum of sales was re is related um, based on the size to each of these two dimensions. If I want to bring in my profit onto the colour, I can just pick up profit, drop it onto the colour button, and that gives me the intensity based on colour. If I want to swap those round, then I can change my profit to be on size and my colour to be on sales just by swapping around the the two the two um, marks just here that show me how how each of these values is encoded. So we, we're back at the second view we had now using the show me pane with two measures showing the sum of sales on colour and the profit on size. So a very quick way of building up a, 
a detailed view. We often use these as kind of high level indications that you could then use as perhaps a, using an action filter to click on these and filter further levels of detail within a dashboard. That would be a very effective way to use these, um, these type of visualization which is the, the heat map. Having shown you that I think um, I, I will end this video and, uh, and, and just refer you to back to the, the Show Me How series for you to find more information there on each of the different Show Me types. Thanks for listening.